guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be looking at this new Dixie plates lace 01 plate that just arrived in the mail and I'm super excited about this is one of the new Dixie plates that came out as well as the camouflage one but I didn't get that as I didn't think I would use it uh, all that much uh, it came with a nice piece of cardboard to keep it safe and I just loved how it was packaged and everything like that so this is what the back looks like just has the Dixie Plates logo and it's in its own little packet. I'm already really excited about the patterns on this plate. They are all so, so cute and I can see myself using every single one of them. There are some little ones and then also some four kind of large ones that are perfect for if you've got longer nails or if you just want a selective bit of the pattern. So there are so many options. Let's get it out and have a look at it. So this is what it looks like, even though you could just see it anyway. And as I said, this is the Lace 01 palette. The rest bit, peeling off the sticky, sticky stuff, the blue sticky stuff, the blue layer. And this is what it looks like, all shiny, so gorgeous. And I can already tell that it's etched so well. just having a look at every single design here there's pretty much something for everyone you've got the kind of fishnet design and then you've got intricate lace and things that look like little doilies and I love that one on the end with the little hairs so cute and this one reminds me of crochet just so many designs so I've got all my nails here ready to swatch I've got some with some silver foil some with some gold foil some with a bit of glitter that I've added onto the tip and then I've got some um, that are just literally a glitter gel polish then I've got this chameleon one which changes colour upon temperature so I'm going to start with the purple one and I'm using a silver polish for this nail and we're going to use this one here that reminds me of um, like a, a crochet design it stamped so well as you can see here it picked up so nicely and I just love the um, silver and purple together and then when you've got heat added to it it goes a nice pinkish color so cute next I'm doing a plain white nail and for that I'm using this gorgeous ocean blue and this actually smells of coconut when you use it it smells amazing uh, it's called ocean breeze and I'm using this little one here Again, this one scraped and stamped really well. And I love, love this white and uh, turquoise combination. I think that's what I'm gonna do on my nails. I think it's gonna look so, so cute. Then we're doing our holographic pink glittery gel nail. And for this, I'm using a really, really dark red, almost brownish uh, color called Inkwell. This design has so much uh, detail in it that I think my stamper is not the greatest. I need to get a new stamper for this one, but it's still picked up pretty nicely and I and like how it turned out, especially against the pink. It's just sort of uh, romantic. Then we're going for our nude with gold foil and I'm gonna use this cute one here and I'm gonna do it at a bit of an angle with the same color that we just used, the ink well. I'm going to apply this at an angle to the nail so that it's got a little bit of something going on. And I think that just looks so pretty together. So pretty. Next, I'm doing my sort of peachy nail that I've applied some glitter to the tip. And I'm going to use this fishnet design with a gold glitter. This one's pretty subtle, but I do think it looks really nice with the fade into glitter at the end. Next, we're doing this navy royal blue with some silver foil. 
And I'm going to use this um, crochet detail with some white called Snow Me White. I was surprised at how well this one picked up. It looked so pretty. And there we go with it over the silver. So pretty. I really like that blue and white combination. And then we've got our black, which I added a tiny bit of gold to. And we're gonna use this frilly one here that I love with the little eyelashes on the end. So cute. I feel like everything I do is so cute, but as you can see here, it picked up so nicely. I was I was in love with it. And it looked so cute with the um with the gold peeking through there. Absolutely love this one. And then we have a rose gold gel nail. And for this, I'm using this bigger stamping image and I'm going to use a pink polish. Again, no problems picking up anything on this plate. I was so impressed. And it looks so good over the rose gold. It almost looks like I've stamped rose gold onto pink rather than pink onto rose gold, if you know what I mean. And it just looks so, so pretty. So that is all eight swatches done. I absolutely love how every single one turned out. I think they are all designs I would do on my nails. There was no pattern on this plate that I thought I would never use. Whereas some plates I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'd use that. But every single one on this plate I would love to use <laughs> at, at some point. Um, they're all etched really, really well. They all picked up brilliantly. And this is probably my favourite plate that I own. And I own a lot of plates. I was just so impressed with how everything picked up and stamped. And... I don't have the best stamping technique, but everything just worked so, so well with this plate. And here's a little close-up of them all. I've top-coated these all with gel, so now I'm going to show you them all separately uh, with all their, their top coat shining and have a look at what they look like. So this is the pink with inkwell on top. Not my favourite, but still really cute. Then we have this one, which reminds me of like a Chinese... Um, like a china plate, you know that blue and white just so, so pretty everything is pretty <laughs> and then we have our colour changing one and I love this silver over the purple and over the pink it, I just think it's a really nice colour combination and then we have our rose gold with pink on top which I just think kind of reminds me of a carnival I don't know why that one does but it does then we have our white with turquoise and this is my favourite I think just because it's so dainty it's so feminine and just really pretty and I think this one would look really nice with my skin tone as you can see here I can just imagine this on all my nails really sort of subtle but feminine this one reminds me of tiramisu and I don't know why because that's a dessert but I just the, the browns and the golds and the nudes it just reminds me of pudding this is the fishnet one which is gorgeous, golden and subtle and just really cute. And then we have the black with the eyelash lace, so pretty, just absolutely gorgeous. So that is all my swatches today, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that you know you are notified when I upload. And I will see you in my next video, bye guys!